You must do the following. You must celebrate your victories by quoting Homer. I stumbled upon a um, rather fun passage in this fine book, which I can recommend. It's a book. Uh, it's um, a collection of short stories in this fine Roma Sub Rosa series by Steven Saylor, great author. This video is a Wild Hunt challenge, so this is not a book review, but I just thought to mention it because it has to do with two steps in this fine challenge. So what you must do is actually, you must read of course, because I've talked about it before, you know, you train your attention span, you train your imagination and everything like that. Especially potent when, uh, if you do a lot of scrolling on social media, and then of course something I may or may not have mentioned is the pure pleasure of uh, reading. It's a true pleasure of life and when you get into it, the habit of reading, you always have a new interesting book to look forward to reading. So yeah, good times, good times. But I'll get straight into the challenge itself and the first step is the following. You have two choices. I'm generous, I give you two choices. You can um, you can meditate upon which is the most reasonable course of action for you to take here. First choice is to start training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, grappling or wrestling or uh, whatever is convenient for you, whatever you have nearby. And uh, of course it's good for you to learn how to grapple because of self-defense uh, and everything like that. But something else you can keep in mind is that if you train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for half a year, you get a good understanding of it. And even if you have only then trained for half a year, you can bring that knowledge with you so that you can train with friends and everyone has a good understanding of uh, what to do basically. So you can grapple and train with friends and you're not dependent on a club or a coach in the same way as if you are completely fresh. So it's an investment, it's like learning a board game that you can have as a routine with your friends that you play. And in this case you train grappling with each other and you can gain something from it. So it's not only, you know, wrestling without any purpose, but you gain a bit of insight into it. So view Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as, a, um, as an investment you make to yourself. So that is one path you can take in this fine challenge. It's um, 8th of August now, uh, the semesters are beginning. I don't know how it looks with the lockdowns where you are, so I have a different choice you can make also if you can't start training martial arts now during this uh, semester. If you can't, you can always go to an outdoor gym. You should have one nearby, um, hopefully. Otherwise, you can use, use a tree or something like that. So the second option you have is to set a new personal record in your chin-up, your chins, your pull-ups, your chin-ups, whatever you want to call it, set a new personal record there. This is something you can do even with the lockdowns, you can install one in your a bar in your house, you can hopefully have a nearby outdoor gym you can go to, so you can do it even though you can't access a gym. So this is the second option in the first step of this uh, fine wild hunt challenge video. So to conclude, either you start training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or MMA, uh, but keep that in mind that it's an investment, the knowledge, it's an investment for you to bring with you and that you can have in um, when you train with friends later. So you have that as something you can do together. If you can't access um, wrestling, submission wrestling, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, MMA, if you can't access such a club, go and do a lot of chins, a lot of chin ups and uh, set a new personal record in my honor, of course. Now on to the second step, also related to my fine introduction, it's to read a book, it can be any book. Again, reading books has many benefits, but uh, I'm not gonna go in all too much on, this, uh, on these benefits right now. But uh, yeah, just trust me, it's uh, good stuff reading books. So read one book, and this is connected to the third point of this um, fine challenge, which is to post Physique to Gab on the last Friday of uh, this month. So Physique Friday is on the last Friday of each month. 
And when you post physique, which I encourage you to post anonymously, so just put um, a monkey or a frog or something in front of your face when you post, because you don't need to show your face if you don't want. Uh, it can be better to be anonymous in this um, situation. But anyway, when you post physique, hopefully in nature, you have loaded up with, um, you know, you've trained hard, you want to show off, you want to, you want to show off your hard work, you want to inspire others, so we can push each other on to greater heights of glory. Now, when you've read a book, you can also include in your physique post just a few thoughts about the book, because I know that you're always out for um, good book recommendations, so now you get, um, you know, some inspiration, you see guys checking in with Physique Friday, and you also see... Uh, yeah, you get some good book recommendations. Uh, always nice to have. So that is the combined second and third step of uh, the challenge. If you don't want to post physique, that's fine. But you can always read a book and uh, leave a recommendation somewhere. Now on to the fourth step of this fine challenge. And this is actually to read all of my book reviews I have up on the golden1.se. It's only seven of them so far, so it's not all too much of a time investment, but I want you to do it for a few different reasons. First and foremost, of course, because I have spent time and I try to make them as interesting and insightful as possible. And, and then, of course, it might give you some motivation to read and it will also be, you know, you training your attention a bit more than just mindless scrolling on social media. So it has a few different purposes there, and um, yeah, if I may be so bold, I think they are um, they're nice enough. I'm sure you agree, otherwise you're a horrible person. Now on to the last step of this fine challenge. This is to train your initiative a bit. So many of you, perhaps most of you, you have your means of communication is via... Facebook Messenger app or um, even Instagram or something like that might be WhatsApp. I don't know So the step here is for you to Install telegram via their own page. I will link it below install it directly from their page Start using it as your standard means of communication now also invite one friend to start using telegram as well so if you have a an ongoing conversation as I'm sure you do have on Facebook. Instead, install Telegram. Tell that friend that now we keep our conversation here on Telegram instead. So you train your initiative and you do a good deed. I don't feel comfortable knowing that you might have um, might use Facebook. Uh, of course, it might be hard to get completely off it, but you know when I got my page banned there, Survive the Jive got his uh, fan page and his personal one banned. Uh, it's not a good service. It's not a um, it's not a nice place. So instead, go to Telegram. And of course, it's absolutely mandatory to follow me on Telegram as well. Um, it's my main social media at the moment. So do that. It's a um, it's for a good cause. So that being said, I hope you participate in this fine challenge. First link in the description box below. I have an article where I have stated all of the steps of the challenge. So if you don't want to rewatch this entire video, you can just um, yeah look at that uh, page instead and you can send it to friends, etc. So yeah, best of luck on the challenge. And I will see some of you on Gab on the last Friday this month. So thank you for watching. XOXO, boo!